Welcome to Expeditions, a new game that will come out tomorrow, because today is Monday, and it will come out tomorrow as Tuesday. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, this is a Mudrunner game, but yeah, I basically stage completed already. Before jumping into your first expedition, let's learn the basics of driving. Didn't know I needed it, but all right. Press the right trigger to start the engine because I am using a um, controller. I can also do keyboard, so. But let's uh, handbrake, and then. A handbrake off, and let's get moving. Oh, I like the way this works. Yeah, I got the... The ultimate version of the game. The... Not really sure what it's called exactly, but... Uh, it's excellent. That's really a strange way to... Utilize a button. But, uh, that's damage already, but let's go to the marker that they want us to go to. I can see that it works the same way as in SnowRunner with also the... Excuse me. To move further, you will need to engage the all-wheel drive, making the traversal of any rough terrain much easier. But at the cost of higher fuel consumption. All right, I know that. To engage all-wheel drive, use our right button, right bumper, and press B. This one and B. Now all-wheel drive is on. Uh, that's a lot easier, yeah. Uh, so it's a mud runner game. Basically, that's the predecessor to SnowRunner. I prefer SnowRunner for the for the gameplay and the way it works. I did play MudRunner a while back, but yeah, I prefer SnowRunner over MudRunner. All right, differential lock. If you're completely stuck, you must engage the differential lock. This will help a lot. In order to do, you will have to shift to a lower gear so hold this go to low and then x and then we will lock our differential and then all the wheels will spin at the same time they will spin dependently of each other so they will spin the same rotation as all the others because they will be locked together. Stage complete. Enter exchange mode. All right. On the left is your vehicle's inventory. On the right is, re is the resource area. Select the quest item, add it to the vehicle's inventory and close the menu. All right. Uh, this one and transfer. There's nothing else. All right. Then exit. And let's continue. Let's go this way. And what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Shift back to auto mode. No need to reverse. I can just go through this. Excuse you. Alright, I know, I know. Don't worry. Let's keep going. So I can already see that... Come on, man. So many... Alright, it's just the beginning of the game. Don't go crazy about it. Adjusting the pressure depending on the type of terrain, reducing it will significantly improve traction but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. I mean, that's what the green part is for, right? You have to 
emphasize on what to what it's written there. Let's try. So press down. And then Oh, it's just press it once, okay. Oh cool. It actually lowers and raises. <laughs> That's fun. Nice. Alright. Lower it a little bit. And we have a bigger surface. The tire surface that touches the floor. But do keep in mind that it will also lower your truck, which will reduce your ground clearance. So if you're above rocks, you will lift your wheels off of the floor and then you will not have the traction. Or you will have less weight on the floor, which will also reduce your traction. All right, refueling. Expeditions will take you across long distances. For this, we recommend taking fuel canisters with you. All right. Left button and refuel. All right. Okay. Well, good to know that, but don't really care. All right, stage completed. If your vehicle is damaged, use spare parts to repair the damaged components. Let's try. Left bumper. Wait. That's... Ah, uh, there. There. Fix, fix, fix. Ah, uh, can't fix the wheels. Hang it! all fixed and let's get over here stage complete now that's short stage deliver the supplies deliver expedition completed three thousand bucks for that that's easy nice I, I like that damage taken three points all right all right all right all right yeah I uh, okay to the headquarters. Hmm. They do have to work on their presentation of the the wording. Headquarters. Anyway, Little Colorado. Uh, expeditions are the main mission. Progress through the game and earn various rewards by completing them. Okay. Uh. Ah, that's free roam. You're free to travel the map without any restrictions or requirements. First expedition, your first assignment. You have to go to the mountains and install radio module. That will improve the signal quality at the base, but be, be careful. The road is not easy. Okay, let's... Uh, at least one truck. Here's a list of your vehicles. Different vehicles are better suited for different types of terrain and expeditions. Okay, so I have this one, this one, this one. I already have a Lodestar. Oh, that's cool. Um, I have the PUZ-16 Aeon SE. Plotco Canyon SRI. The Lodestar, the Step 310. Oh, that's a cool one. I remember that from SnowRunner. In our series, we did not get that far yet, but I do know it. The regular Tuz and the Dawn 71 SE. I do like the Dawn 71, but not at this point. I think our best bet will be... Hey, truck store. Uh, got that one already. The regular Dawn 71. The Dawn 71 SE, we already have one. Lodestar 1700, regular one. SE, we already have one. Step 310E, we have the Step 310E SE. Regular, the TUS 16 Acteon, regular one. We have the SE version. And then there's a lot of unlockable stuff. Still, oh, the 39 Marshall. I love that truck in SnowRunner. Con Loaf. <laughs> She's always fun. Uh, KRS 58 Bandit. That one helped me throughout my first playthrough a lot. The Tatra 805. 
Petra Force, TUZ 108, and the Yar 87. I really like this one. All right, so what we are going to do is um, we will bring the, I think the TUZ, say on SE with a short sideboard, I think, or short flatbed. I'm going to use a short sideboard. The mechanic. It's my first upgrade. Or what was it? Award? Rims, rims, rims. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one more. <laughs> Front bumper. Uh, reinforced. Heavy bull bar. Damn. That looks uh, heavy. Reinforced bumper. Big reinforced bumper. This is the stock bumper. A sun visor. Extended sun visor. I think this one will help a lot for the glare, but I don't know how much it's going to actually improve our view. That's uh, four more slots for more cargo. Don't think I really need it yet. Mm, don't need it yet. Bolt on fenders. No. External roll cage. No, emergency reserve. Medium, large. What, where, where, where is that? And we already have the small in me reserve. All right. Uh, this one is a custom paint job. Top grade auto repairs. Big bang audio. Hmm. I uh, don't think any of these are really tickling my fancy. Oh, this is quite nice. But it doesn't really fit the front grille, though. No, I'm going to keep it stock. Hold on. Not yet done. Huh. Oh, there. All right, cargo, we will bring for the inventory anchor and the jack screw. Will we bring more rangefinder, geodetic, determining the distance from the observer to the object. Actually, we'll just bring everything. Might as well. Uh, we were going to bring the radio station. Mm, I will just bring all of this. Resource slots. Yeah, it's good enough. Oh, wait. There's more. Exterior stickers. Lock, 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 lock. Everything is locked. All right. Um, engines are exploring the region. All right, gearbox. All right, stock kit, lift kit, rock crawler kit. Nice, nice. Different tires. Huh? Winch, extended winch. I do would like the extended winch, but. Low snorkel, that's really low snorkel. I would not recommend that one yet. All right. Uh, this will be our run. Then deploy. Yeah. Let's start. All right, we should be ready to get going. That's the first stop. In expeditions, you'll need to na navigate the terrain. Use the minimap for this. Use the minimap. Open the minimap. 
It's the mini map. And this really is a mini map. Uh, we zoom out a lot, so it's going to be a bigger map. This is not a mini map, a mini map is in the corner of the screen. While you're playing the game. But that doesn't matter. It's just a regular map. And I prefer that. Oh. Don't know what happened there, but that's alright. Let's keep going. Come on. You want me to go into the mud? Ah, use the echo sounder. Okay. Devices. Echo sounder. See how deep it is. So, how deep is it? Fairly deep. Dangerous water level. Not dangerous enough yet. Let's turn on all wheel drive. Keep her moving. And there we go. Easy peasy. Uh, already got that with me though. Let's trade. <laughs> Alright, I'm full. I did not know I had... Uh, I didn't have to bring anything. I had to go and pick it up. Alright, alright. You know what? I'll see you guys when I get back here empty. You know? No need to make fun of me, yeah? I did not know. Let me go and empty first. Alright, I'm getting... Coming back now. Um, empty this time. Yeah. Oh, look. I can take it now. Let's continue. Alright, so... Um, explore the nearby mountain using the drone. Okay. Let's turn off the engine before we use all the gas. Let's go up. Uh, how do we go forward and back? Uh, she's not. She's not a fast drone, is she? Going up there. Bad signal. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I get it, don't worry. Yes, come on. This is definitely not a DJI. It's more like one of those AliExpress drones. That's fine, that's fine, I mean. Eventually, we can buy a DJI, probably. Um... Yeah. Getting up there. Do I need it? Not really, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, another... Is this how the game is going to go? Or what did you want me to do? Okay. Honestly, I don't really care. I'm just going to continue. <laughs> I totally forgot what it wanted me to do. There we go. Is this really how the game is going to go? Because then I'm done fairly quickly. Enter delivery mode. Sometimes in expeditions you will have to complete quest item deliveries or complete structure constructions. Yeah, I just did. Were you okay with that?
Binoculars are a great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for the vehicles to pass. All right, open the minimap. Explore this area. Okay. This one used binoculars. Ooh, an airdrop. This is fairly, uh, it's like wielding a sniper in any kind of battlefield or whatever. Once you're zoomed in, it's too fast. Yeah, 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 I know that. There's an airdrop over there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Need to zoom out a little bit. Ah, uh, then it's more handy. And I can handle it a bit more. It's not that fast anymore. Alright, I think we found everything we needed to find. Um, go forward a bit. Stage completed. Using a drone, you can also discover unexplored paths of the map. Okay, open mini map. Explore the area. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I turn off the engine? No, you do not. All right, use. Then we go over here and another airdrop over there. And you are a path. Explore the area. 96%. What's where is going to be 100? That's 100. All right. Recover the to the base and park the truck. Excuse you. Found it. Why recovery? All right. And then park it over there. Huh. Main base. Nearby areas. It's the first one, I think. Not far from the training base, we left valuable cargo. Use the metal detectors to search for objects. Alright, fair enough. But I'm going to leave that for the next episode, which will be on Wednesday. I'm going to leave this episode right here. Um just going to uh, you need to unlock complete stone fort which is this one they say that the lake located so there's two more expeditions before we can free roam uh, these two are also unlocked I think earthy vibes and heavy shipping yeah payment is 1900 it's all the way over there nice distance is 660 and 1180 This one needs off-road, this one needs a scout. Alright, fair enough. This one needed off-road. Okay, check screw and inventory sideboard. Yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one, which will be on Wednesday. Peace out.